a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Well, good morning, everyone. We are on our way to the beautiful Cradle Mountain today. We've been in Devonport for a week. Um, we decided just to stay put till our mates arrive, so we use that as a base and we've done um, a bit of exploring and wandering around and my full spring clean of the caravan, which you guys will see on van days at some stage. Um, a lot of fun, a bit of stress, one migraine. But now, how good's the van? It's really good. I'm just looking at these roads. <laughs> I don't think they had rams and sun seekers in mind when they designed them. No, I don't think so. It was probably more horse and cart. They're a little, they're a little narrow. But I tell you what, how beautiful is today? Oh, look, there's a tractor. We use tractors everywhere around here to get to and from. Today is beautiful. Yesterday was hectic. I'm so glad we didn't have to actually travel yesterday. The wind was out of control. We had to close everything yesterday, even our front window, because it nearly blew off just with the gusts that we're getting. Even with the airbag suspension, the van was still rocking and rolling. It was. It was like the. It was like we had the washing machine on like all day. <laughs> the caravan That's moved right. all day. It was insane. Anyway, grateful today's a beautiful day. As we are supposed to be. I think um, our mates... We have mates, a, a top temperature of 8 degrees today. Yeah, top, a top pe temperature of 8. But you know what? The sun's out. It's okay. But apparently they're going to have up to 30 knots this afternoon, possibly. So, not really that excited about that because yesterday was just too much all day in the wind. Um, anyway, we've got our mates in front of us. We're sort of following today, following them. I'm sure we'll take turns, but we, um, and we go a bit slow, don't we? I think. You take your time. I do. Enjoy the ride. Look at the scenery. Dogs are asleep already. Riley's back on his iPad. He loves his travel days because he gets to hang out on that most of the time. He's going to lose internet so. But yeah, he will lose internet. So we always enjoy that moment. He's like, but it's not working. It's like, well, you have to get a book now. So that's okay. He's got his book with him. Anyway, we are heading to... Where are we heading to? Like, how long are we the Cradle there Mountain for? Camping and Fisheries. Yeah, so Cradle Mountain Camping and Fisheries. Um, I think we're there for like four nights. Yeah, so it looks beautiful. It's got five stars. Um, we're in the unpowered section of this place and it's going to be nice. We're just hoping the window, wind holds off so we can have a couple of fires, that's all. We want to get back to cooking on the fire and living like that again. So fingers crossed the wind maybe picks up and then just disappears for the rest of the time we're there. We are still going to Cradle Mountain, but we just went to the place where we were going to be staying and it's rated five star on wiki camps. Not too sure why, unless you get a couple of spots that sort of look nice where it's getting done. So I'm guessing at the moment, the property itself is getting fully renoed and done up. It's gonna be amazing, I think, when it's finished, but right now it's, a lot, it's very wet. It's got a lot of loose gravel laying there part of its road, part of it's for you to stay on. For us, we just physically couldn't fit there with both of us and our two rigs. It was just gonna be too small and, and then stressing about anyone going past and scraping the side of our van because we had to sort of park on the edge of the road with a tiny little bit of dirt in front of us that wasn't even grass. So we we're pretty gutted because now we've had to backtrack. Um, we just did the tightest turn to get in here. That was a bit frightening, but we made it because this is where we are now. We're going down dirt tracks that look like one lane road. So it's actually a two lane road, believe it or not. Um, anyway, so it's gonna be slow and steady. We'll make it to the end. Oh look, there's the beautiful lake down there. So we're actually at the moment going to Lake Gardner. Um, this is the one I actually wanted to stay at originally. It's beautiful. Check out the view, look at that. So 
Wow, very pretty. Yep, this is definitely the spot. Just a little steep going down here, but I reckon we'll be all right. Just gonna keep an eye on it for Tim, just so he's all good. We can get back out of here. It's really steep. Oh, I better hurry up. We've decided to come here down near the information center in Cradle Mountain and um, we're just filling up with our water and we brought our mates 200 bladder as well that we're filling up so we're grabbing 400 liters of water because we are what half an hour 40 minutes 40 minutes 40 minutes from the actual information center at Cradle Mountain where our free camp is at Lake Gardner but it's free down there it is the most magnificent camp and it's our first free camp in Tassie I tell you what Already we're like, this will be hard to beat, but um, apparently there's heaps like this, so. Oh, guess what I saw this morning? Platypus, three. Three. There was three platypus this morning. I went down to take some photos of the birds and take some photos of the scenery. Early, mind you, I was up early. Chilly Tasmania. I'm joining Riley. But look at the view behind us. So we're actually at Cradle Mountain. And Riley, schoolwork for the day. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that Cradle Mountain is only one of two places in all the world that scores a 7 out of 10 for the World Heritage List? I did not know that. It's pretty good, eh? The other place is in China somewhere. There you go. And we're not going to China anytime soon. No. We just need to have proof of our trip. I remember doing this last time when we left to people and if they were to find our bodies they could look at our cameras and uh, document where we made it to. <laughs> yeah, very different weather back then. It was, it was, it was very different weather. Uh, we've done half the trip now. Oh hey! <laughs> Riley has decided to wake up for a little while. You are rocking my vlogging style. It's still pouring with rain. It's and, really um, cold. It's freezing, like six degrees. Yeah, yeah. Riley now feels like he weighs about 30 kilos. The boys are still coming from somewhere, but yeah. we've decided we're going to keep walking because it's uh, ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> um, how do we turn this thing around? Let's just do uh, this. Yeah. Here's the weather oh, forecast for today and continuing today. Ah! Would it be still silly if I was still hoping for sunshine? Yeah. Sunshine? No. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Bye. Guys, I'll be here. So, if you're ever looking for a really nice, beautiful place that's quiet here, oh my god, we just found it. Look at the boys. It, this goes really far. Mm.
The last time we came, like we said, it was 11 years ago, so obviously a lot's changed in 11 years, but they've definitely um, put a lot of man-made walkways in here compared to where it was 11 years ago. Almost about halfway, did you reckon, babe? Yeah, halfway. Halfway? How you going, buddy? Good. Yeah? It's really nice here. We're actually getting a little bit hot, aren't we? Yeah. We're getting Riley ready for the stairs on this other side, because I remember that when he was on in the carrier when he was 18 months. I remember. Hey, Riley is enjoying it. He's sound asleep. That's like six degrees. He's got about five layers on, as do we. And uh, he thinks this is wonderful. You love this, don't you? Yeah. All I keep hearing is, wow, wow, mum, look up. Look at the size of that trunk there, Riley. Look at that big one. Wow. Wow, this is pretty. We all see. Wow. Wow. <laughs> We are now entering Baldwin Forest, Mum. Very cool. What do you think, Mum? Bloody ripper. <laughs> Had a really beautiful lunch. There was a little beach area pull over with a couple of seats, so we sat there with some other walkers. Had a good old chat. Carawan got someone's half their sandwich when they went looking. <laughs> it was quite funny. And now we're heading on up all these stairs. Oh, that I remember. Last time we did this, it was sleeting, and we had rescue helicopters flying out to the other mountain. Told you there were stairs. Taken over the footage because Justin and Riley are lagging behind. Oh, <laughs> Actually, I think this is the spot. We're at this point, and Justin was just about ready to give up. That's when the rescue helicopter chopped it across. We're almost sort of one and a half way. <laughs> Everybody is stopped, including Hi. the captain at the top there. <laughs> Victoria's lagging now. She's down at the end of the line because she got the backpack. I take it over it. And Riley, you still can't see because he is just like snuggled. <laughs> Riley only has to be one last in here. Come on. Somewhere. Riley, say hi to the camera. So hi to the camera. No, see, Riley's smart. He doesn't need to get out. I think it's time. Seriously, we need to start calling someone to help. <laughs> Seriously, can you call someone? 127 hours. The walk for Justine has gone from a 10 down to a 9. Because there are so many stairs. <laughs> stairs are Justine's kryptonite. <laughs> okay. Talking to Riley about the last time he walked around a World Heritage site, which would have been Uluru. And um, wow, what a change in scenery, hey? He's uh, nearly, nearly 12, but wow, he's seen so much of Australia. He's the luckiest kid alive, I reckon. Lots of 
moment. Wow. Now that is a wow moment. <laughs> So we're literally almost at the end and the weather's just starting to turn. Our mates are doing a bigger hike than us. They're going to Marion's Lookout. I don't think they're doing the summit. Um, we did this one because we didn't want to do the other one. But you can tell that this is how quickly the weather turns. It's already starting to turn now. You can see at the very top there, the cloud cover's coming over and I reckon the tip and the first of the summit is going to end up probably disappearing behind the clouds soon. How good was that? So good. Yeah. I loved it. Glad you didn't stay home. Yeah, glad we stay here. Wow. But I can still feel a bit of like water. Well, what do you reckon? What are we rating this walk here, hey? Tell us here. Oh, nice panorama. Oh. I'd say nine and a half. Yeah, I reckon nine and a half. Nine point five. But yeah. that's just because I just don't like them. But I reckon ten. Nine point five. Yeah, I reckon that's awesome. <laughs> morning guys um this morning me and mum are going to go to cradle mountain so you can possibly see snow and some more wombats is that right mum sure is just me and riley today we're on a bit of a mission yeah so where's daddy he's stuck at home at the moment he's going to do all the editing for the videos and stuff today and look after the dogs so we are doing you remember the look at which walk we're doing i think it's called the snakes hill um, so we just ran into the car park. Show everybody, Riley. It's just starting to snow. We're oh going my out. God. It's just snow. We're going out. Hang on, I'm going to park the car. We're a little bit excited. It's actually snowing. You might not be able to see it, but, but we'll show you right now. Oh my God, it's actually snowing. Oh my God. It's actually snowing. It's snowing, Riley. It's snowing. Let's look at the car. It's snowing. Oh my god. It's actually snowing. Oh my god. Look at it over there. You can just see it falling. See? Oh my god. Ah. We're so satisfied now. Oh my god. I can't believe it. We're in falling snow again for the second time. I wish Daddy was here. Oh my oh god. My god. Look, at the nose. look at the car. It's all falling on the car. <laughs> Not quite like the golden oh. one, but I tell you what, I'm gonna put oh my jacket my on. God. Holy crap. Ah, it's so exciting. I can't wait to go for oh a my, walk. It's like bottled my face. Look at it. I told you, Riley. I knew it. It's my face. <laughs> All right, we're just about to start the walk from Snake Hill down to Ronnie's Creek. We've got off the bus. So excited to see the snow shower when we arrived. But check out the snow on the boardwalk. There's a little bit over there on the grass. This is definitely something that we really, 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 really prayed for. And we made that wish last night on the stone. I tell you what, wishing does come true. Kids keep stopping to pick up the snow. It's so funny. It was only such a light shower that we've had. But I tell you, we're still getting, see, getting to see plenty of snow. It's all left on the tops of the bark and the tree. And Cradle Mountain, oh my gosh, hopefully I can get, maybe I might be able to get a photo of that. I don't know. Yeah. This is where it... Is that wombat poo? Oh, I think it might be wombat poo. That's like really oh, it's just already looking for the, looking for the wildlife. It's beautiful. It's a huge stream that runs all the way down the left of us and we're just literally in the bush surrounded by so much wildlife. We haven't seen a wombat yet but I think towards the end of the track is where you're likely to see them.
So this is Ronnie's Creek. We've done the walk. It only took us about half an hour, I think, to go from Snakes Hill down to Ronnie's Creek. Um, kids and that are looking for a bit of looking, seeing if they can see a platypus, but the sun's come out again now. Even though Riley's showering with his snowball, pretending there's a snow shower. <laughs> um, it's really pretty. We're hoping to get to see the mountain, Cradle Mountain here, from here, but I can only see part of it. You can't really, it's covered in snow, but it's a bit hard to see. Oh, wombat! There's a wombat on the hill. There's a bit of a snow, what do you call it, snow shower coming. See that? That there? Wow, the temperature has just dropped tremendously. It changes so quickly here. <laughs> so we just jumped back on the bus from the, where we were just walking with where the wombats were. We've now come back to Dove Lake and it's snow showers again. So it's actually snowing again, which is unreal. This is definitely different to what it was the other day. It's still freezing, but it is absolutely stunning. This is seriously why we do what we do, to experience these kinds of things. Oh, it's got snow in my eye again. Oh my God. It's horizontal at the moment. Interpretive Centre. So we're actually going to go and check that out and um, let the kids do a bit of educational stuff now. We've had a snowstorm, we've done our walks, and we might do, I think, just drop, just realized drop some gloves. Um, we'll go and check out all this stuff and hopefully the kids will enjoy this part. This will be like Riley's schoolwork for something. quite clever at these. He surprises me sometimes. So we've just come out of the interpretation centre and we're coming down and we're doing the pencil pine walk forest or something. I can't remember the exact name of it. Um, the others have gone off to do the enchanted forest which we may do, I'm not sure, but Riley really wanted to do this one so we've actually just sort of split up and hopefully we meet back at the bus stop again. It's so quiet. You can hear the water running, you can hear the birds. It is absolutely beautiful here. We've been listening to the waterfall, we could hear it. <laughs> I think Riley's finally 
think we're finally coming up to it now. Oh, it's getting louder. Good morning. We have spent the last five nights here at Lake Gardner, which is um, about 40 minutes from Cradle Mountain. It has been absolutely free and absolutely amazing. Um, last night the sky was so clear and the stars were just unbelievable. We had a campfire. Um, we couldn't stay out there too long because it was just so cold, but um, it was just unreal. Um, and where the campsite is situated is down here at this massive lake. So to get here to Lake Gardner, there's a basically a gravel road, a one lane gravel road that takes you all the way down from the main highway. Uh, and the, the gravel road comes down here about 15 minutes and it comes down to this beautiful spot here. And you can see the river. We can't actually camp down there unfortunately. But look at the river here. And this river flows all the way down into the lake but once we came down here you can see that there's nowhere to turn around it's just like a one lane road but there's this very steep hill right at the very end now we got down no problem but you can see there's this very steep hill here now I'm pretty sure we're going to be okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the airbags up on the van just to give it a bit more clearance. Got no problems. I think the, the ram will pull up. That won't be any issue. It's just going to be the, the clearance of the van. But if you're going to come to Lake Gardner, I definitely recommend that you have an off-road van because the hill at the very end yeah, just up the top, I'd say after, over the amount of people that have been here, they've worn it down right. at the top there, so it's sort of like a real steep point at the top. So um, yeah, we'll see if we not, go. we're going to be getting some shovels out and levelling it a little bit at the top, but I think we'll be fine.
Sing it.